Hello everybody! Just wanted to do one more video before I left on holiday. And um, this is the sign air. I got this uh, circuit board off the Ken Stone website. Uh, this is part of his Cat Girl Synth range of, of, of projects that he does. And um, it's just a great module. Um, it's pretty much an entire synthesizer on one board and it's dedicated towards doing drum sounds and snare type of sounds. Uh, but it does a lot more than that, is, is hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate here. So basically what this is all about is um, it has some basic oscillators and it has a noise generator. It's actually got two different kinds of noise generators. And, um, and a really cool voltage control amplifier with um, a cool option onto it. And, um, and it's got a great filter here, which is um, taken right out of uh, Ken Stone's Synthicon filter, which is pretty darn cool. I've connected pretty much every input and output to jacks here. So in order to use this module, you have to patch it. So, for example, the voltage control amplifier is coming out to this, which all it does is connect it to this quarter inch jack, or yeah, that goes out to the amplifier. So I've got the basic mix of the noise and the impact and everything coming out to the voltage control amplifier and that's being triggered here. And later on I'll put the filter into the mix to see what that's all about. So we've got two types of signals coming into this thing to trigger it. We've got regular trigger signal which is coming from the 16 step sequencer. The gate signal is transferred into the circuit and, and um, <clears throat> converted into a trigger signal which is just a quick blip up and then phase out. So it's all compatible just as long as you connect their grounds together. They're compatible. Voltage is voltage. And that goes there. And then I've got a different kind of thing going into here which is the sustain. And you can th think of the sustain as your hi-hat pedal. So if you can hear the difference we get some of the notes coming out of here being quite staccato, right? They, they end very quickly, and then some of them ring out for a bit longer. And that's coming from this LED here. There we go. So when the signal is on, we get more sustain, and when it's off, we get less sustain. So when you let go of the hi-hat pedal, obviously your cymbals are going to be able to ring out for longer until you close the pedal again. Right now we're using the basic noise generator which is just a, a transistor and you pump power into it from the wrong direction and it makes noise. And um, we also have these called the shimmer section. So we can blend in a bit of that. These are CMOS oscillators that are ringing together using um, XOR functions and it does this cool kind of ring modulation type of effect. So you can tune that. So just in this section alone, you can get huge variation on the types of sounds that you can get out of here. You can get really cool ringing metallic, metallic sounds on here. And um, yeah, so that's just awesome. What really makes this um, module shine is the filter section, which takes all of this variation that you can already get out of the... Um, out of the oscillators, out of the noise and the um, and the um, the shimmer, and um, it just adds to it with a, just this huge range of things that you can do. I need more patch cables. Where are my patch cables? So now I'm going to patch this thing to um, include the voltage control filter into the mix. Um, so we've got the the mix of the of the noise and the shimmer and everything coming out into the voltage control filter and then that is going to go into the VCA and that's going to go into the voltage control amplifier 
and then from the amplifier out to the output jack. Cool. So now it's going through a filter before it goes to the BCA. And um, here we go, we've got um, state variable filter here, I think that's called. They'll do low pass, they'll do high pass, they'll do band pass. And um, here we go. And the filter also has a control voltage in to control the frequency that it will be working with. And um, I'll try to come up with something cool for that. Let's just play with the filter for a little while. So yeah, pretty cool, huh? Cool, so that's the sign air. I'm really happy that I finished this thing, finally. I was waiting on some parts for a very long time and um, finally bit the bullet and bought them and um, here it is. So the last thing I wanted to show you is sort of what the overall plan is. And um, I have just a regular arcade button that is connected to, um, to a high signal here and from the output directly to this yellow thing on the trigger. So, um... So I want to make a whole set of these, so it'll be a board with a bunch of these on there. And, um... And I've got a lot of plans for that, so that's probably what I'm going to build in the new year. And, um, yeah, so let's hope that turns out. Have a happy holidays, everyone, and see you next year.